Hi, welcome to ADI Technical Training. I'm Matthew. Today I'm in the technical lab at our UK hub in Chatterton, Manchester. Let's get started. In this video, we're looking at brake glass units or call points or MCP or BGU, manual call points, brake glass units. We do quite a lot of um, green call points at ADI. I just did a quick count there. There's over 50 different styles and brands we do. Uh, you can have them in single pole, double pole, triple pole, and there's internal or external options. In this video, we're gonna go through which one you would need, which one to select, and also the basic connections between a access control controller and a maglock. Let's look at a typical example. At the bottom here, we have a door controller. It could be any brand. It could be standalone or PC based. And a maglock. So a maglock works by power being fed to it constantly. As soon as you remove power from it, it will stop working. The problem with mag locks compared to, say, a mortise latch or a rim night latch, a Yale lock, is there's no mechanical override on board. In addition, a mag lock is typically on the top of the door, on the transom, on the door frame at the top. Um, so, you know, at least six foot six in the air. So even if there was some sort of mechanical override, it would be at the top of the door, which is out of the reach of the majority of people. There has to be some way of opening the um, the magnet in the event of emergency. Even if you were to consider um, how the device works, it requires 12 volts to work. What if the door controller was going faulty? Now you could say, well, if the door controller was going faulty, you could still use the exit button to go get out. Well, that's not the case. If the door controller was say, say it went into watchdog because of a fluctuating voltage and the exit button has stopped responding, you wouldn't be able to get out the door. So in the event of emergency, where there's a good chance you would get lots of main spikes, there is a good chance that the door would be locked and permanently locked and the exit button wouldn't work. And that's why you need some sort of device that can override the power to the mag lock to unlock the door. And that's what a green call point does. And having one of these devices adjacent to the door is a very common sight. You would see them on any door with a mag lock or any fail safe locking device, anything that requires constant power to lock without a mechanical override. So it could be um, a solenoid bolt, it could be an electric lock, it could be an electric latch, or it could be a mag lock as pictured here. Let's look at the wiring. First of all, you need to select what type of um, brake glass do you, do you need? Is it a single pole? double pole or triple pole what, what are the what's the point in having so many poles so in the in its most basic form a single pole would be used and you just cut positive to the magnet maybe it's on a timber door frame the magnet is within two or three meters of the call point and you just simply want to cut the positive to the magnet so you just have a single pole brake glass unit and very common and normally closed you would let power to go through and cut the positive to the magnet. If you want to get close to using it in the application where you complain to fire regs and building regs, you'd need a double pole. And the double pole will cut both the positive and the negative. So in both instances, well, in, in each instance, power would come into common, back out to normally closed to the locking device. And the opposite pole negative would come into common, back out normally closed, to your locking device. That's why you'd have a double pole. Why would you need a triple pole? Well, triple poles are the same, cut positive, cut negative. And the third pole here, that could be used to act to notify the access controller that the call point's been pressed. And it could be said for a double pole as well. You might just want to cut positive here and just use the, the second pole here to notify the access controller that there's been an activation. However, if it's going on a HMO or public building, you would, I would suggest get a triple pole. That way you're cutting positive and negative, and you're also uh, informing the central management system that the call point's being activated. So let's look at how you would 
connect this up? What wiring would you connect? So let's put the green call point in, in the middle of the circuit. And we're going to, in the first instance, we're going to cut positive. From your door control or your power source, we'll bring a positive into the common of the brick glass unit. And then back out of normally closed to positive of the maglock. So if the um, call point is activated, the closed circuit will go open and it will cut the power to the maglock. And then to finish the circuit, or start the circuit really, I suppose, we would take the ground or the negative and go to the negative terminal of the maglock. And in this example here, we have a single pole break glass unit being used and we are cutting the positive. Let's have a look at a double pole application. Much the same as before, really. The positive goes into common, back out of normally closed, goes to the magnet. And on the negative side, we also cut that side now as well. Particularly useful on aluminium or steel door frames where there's a chance you could bring ground in and cause the magnet to stay locked if you cut ground. So that way you cut both circuits are completely isolated. Um, so again, negative into common, back out normally closed to the magnet. And then we have triple pole. And triple pole, much the same as single pole, you cut the positive. Double pole, you would cut the negative. And on the triple pole, the last connection here goes to the ACU, the access control unit. Now, that would be used as an alarm input. So if you've got a, um, a PC-based system from any of the brands, they all, they all support it, and it has a, a site map on it, you could have an alarm showing that the green call point has been activated. And so you, you would know where to go instantly, that the door's not secure anymore, and what caused it. And that would be an open circuit going closed. So from the third pole, it'd be coming into common, out of normally open to the controller. When the call point's activated, you're going to close the circuit. Installers rely on ADI. The ADI projects and technical teams offer a pre-configuration service. Any project size from a single device or to a complex system. Any IP device can be configured from our central hub using our technical and projects teams. Having your device pre-configured will save engineers time on site. We can set your IP address, the gateways, and in addition, we'll make sure your device has the latest firmware on board. Simply get in touch with your ADI sales contact or email the projects team. Thanks very much for watching. All the products mentioned in this training video can be found on our website. Links are below. Don't forget to subscribe. Thanks very much.